got time to do my like, artichoke. That's true, let's do artichoke perhaps, yeah. So we'll move on to artichoke now. We'll just quickly bag these up and um, I'll move them out of the way and then move on to my artichoke buckets. circle uh, okay so we're just about to harvest our artichokes the variety is fuso it's supposed to be a um, easy to peel less knobbly variety and I got it I got the stock off Etsy of all places because a well-known supplier let me down and didn't send any uh, so I have two buckets of them one was humongous when it went in I don't know what's happening with this so let's just see it may have not been watered as much as it should have been <laughs> oh nice fingers because the gloves are just um oh <laughs> oh I'm assuming you break them off like that I've never they look like figs I've never grown artichokes before <laughs> or never successfully grown artichokes before apologies for the light is getting a little bit dark at the moment it's obviously quite tricky to find time before it gets dark in February most people have harvested their artichokes before now but why be like most people and by that I mean both sort of like time of year and <laughs> time of day I expect Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, they look really substantial. And I guess the small ones I can just take and... Um... Do you want to take some of these home? Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. yeah. I'm wondering, actually, if I can just... So that seems like a solid mass of brew with just some itty-bitty ones in. So I'm wondering if I could just put that straight back in the pot. It seems to work, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Everyone remember this is the artichoke pot. And the problem with artichokes is if you do them in the ground they tend to take over and if I just keep the same pot back it will hopefully prevent that issue. See I've got little missed ones there like worse than potatoes. So I'm just gonna put that see it's got little bits still in it. I'm just going to put that straight back in the ground, that way up. Mm -hmm. so, if I leave this here, I'll remember next time yeah. it's an artichoke and then I can label it. Mm -hmm. Any tiny ones back in? Right, so another one. Now one of these had a massive, massive central original root and the other one did. I think this might be the one with the really big one.
started sprouting. Mm. It's interesting so I'll pop that back in the bucket. Definitely gonna do these again like this next year. This yeah, is amazing. This is really well. And without the worry of them taking off over half the plot. Yeah. So that has got a little couple of things. I'm gonna put it back in the bucket. I'm thinking that perhaps this one I put two in. Yeah. Because there's so much more. So they do, you know, basically if you have multiples that doesn't actually make that much difference in a bucket of that size. I don't have any gigantic ones like the ones that arrived, but mm. I don't think that's actually necessary because mm. these are a perfect size to use. Mm. And true enough, if you look, they're quite, they'll be quite easy to peel as well, won't mm. they? Just specify that these are Jerusalem artichokes, not globe artichokes. Yeah. <laughs> There's the globe over there? Yeah. Mm. So, uh, I, I've actually successfully got a globe artichoke. They're quite different. <laughs> so they walk over to yeah. it like a I'll just carry on with this if you have a <laughs> look at the globe artichoke. So that's from two buckets and they're 30 litres, that is quite a significant amount of artichokes. I'm not sure we should give these John though to be honest. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's got the root back inside, yes. Yeah, that's so. got the root back in and that also has the root back in and any little tiny ones, that's an ochre but never mind, I'm gonna and I'm gonna I'm gonna put some more back in here once we've decided what we're keeping at the house. Okay. So I'll keep some back in the fridge to replant and maybe expand because that's if it just takes two buckets to get like that many artichokes, it's a really good thing to grow because they've been neglected, they've been barely watered, it's brilliant. Mm -hmm. So this is the first um, batch of the ochre that we harvested, so 578, the second one, five, <laughs> exactly the same, 500, well 571, so within 5 grams, see so I'm not making it, there's a little bit of dirt attached but um, like that just dropped it to 44 it was 545 so they're like um 25 grams each these are the ones that obviously didn't do very well but it's still like 300 grams quite a bit of dirt in that one though because they were small ones. all right so weighing the artichokes now variety fuso and um, these were planted at some point last year. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. No, that's half. Half, that's... We're on milliliters. Let's change it to grams so we don't confuse everyone. 1797. Oh, yeah. And they're really clean as well. Yeah. 
Now the other batch I'm going to just put straight in the uh, pot because I think this bag probably weighs more. Or should I? know? let's just do that. One, one, one. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> So from three artichokes, that is near enough three kilograms. So about a kilogram an artichoke. How much does an artichoke weigh? Um, each artichoke. They were big ones. One pot I just put one big one. The other one I put two smaller in, and obviously that makes a difference. It doesn't seem to make more of a difference no matter the, the starting size mm. of the artichoke. Oh, okay. So in that situation, it's probably best to yeah. So like twenty times the. Uh... Because the artichoke was probably a good few hundred grams itself, the big one. It was huge, and you might, you know. And an individual artichoke here, they're all sort of like perfectly sized. They're about 60 grams each. for now thank you very much for watching and hopefully see you again soon bye for now